video i'm going to explain how to transfer a block of data from internal memory to external memory in 8051 microcontroller assembly language programming so here the source is actually internal memory and uh, destination is actually external memory so let me start with the uh, instruction the first line is a comment so comments are started with a semicolon so it is optional if you want you can write otherwise you can skip this comment line line number two org 000 so it is the origination of program so move r1 with the uh, hash file so this r1 let uh, let us store the block of five data so this five data we are going to store in some registers we know that uh, eight petitions are available or not to r7 we can use uh, any registers so i am using r1 move r1 with the uh, hash 5 that is immediate data we are transferring 5 to the r1 so this is for to store the r to remember what is the data block size okay so the block size is 5 here so move r1 with hash 5 so register r1 is actually initialized with 5 move r1 with 30h this 30h is actually your uh, internal location 30h we are transferring data from internal location 30h so let us have r not is loaded with the uh, address of your source location so r not is 8 bit so 30 is also 8 bit data so now external memory location is actually 2000 which is not 8 bit so it is a 16 bit because each extra digit you have to represent using a 44 binary 2 means 0010 0, 0, again 0 means 0000. So you have to express each extra digit into 4 bit binary. So it is a 4 plus or 16 bit data. So you cannot store that the destination address. This 2000 you cannot store it in 8 bit register. So you have to use 16 bit registers available in 8051. If you see the programming model of 8051, we have R0, R1, R2, R3, R5, R4, I6 r7 all are 8 bit uh, registers so we have two 16 bit register that is a program counter we hold address of destination to be executed so don't change use this uh, in any program and we have one more 16 bit register that is a dptr it is divided into two dph data point higher and data point lower dph and dpl you can use this 16 bit register for holding the address so move dptr with hash 2000 2000 is the address of destination location it is a 16 bit so you have to move it to 16 bit register only the 16 bit registers available in the 8051 is dptr and program counter so don't use dope program counter use dptr move dptr so dptr size is 16 bit so 2000 is also 16 bit so we can store this information destination address into dptr address so dptr register is loaded with the address of destination location which is 2000 so first we have to get the data we are transferring from internal memory to destination external memory so first you have to load the internal data so move r not sorry move a comma at symbol or not so this is at symbol wherever this at symbol comes that indicates that the content of so here the content of r not okay content of actually r not will have the address so r not is loaded with 30 h so if i write at r not okay r not is having a 30 so content of 30 content of 30 h will be copied to a so a is the destination this is the source move a comma at r not means at r not content will be moved to a so move accumulator with the content of address specified by r not r not is actually having 30h location which is the source location the content of source location will be moved to a accumulator after that if you whenever you want to transfer any data to external memory okay you have to use additional letter here x x indicates it's a instruction related to external memory data transfer so move x so uh, we are using move 
the external memory okay that address is present in actually in dptr see dptr is loaded with uh, 2000 so at symbol means address specified by so this so dptr will having 2000 address so so move x to this location this is a from a see first we loaded r not to a from accumulator we have to move it to the destination uh, which is stored in dptr so you have to reuse address here the content that is uh, at symbol you have to use okay while copying also you have to write at r not to move so move a from at r not so now move x x stands for external memory because we are moving to external memory 2000 h so additional x you have to use so from we loaded r not to a from accumulator it should transfer to at symbol dptr so we transferred one data so next data also you have to transfer so increment uh, source of the location address increment uh, destination location address that is present in r not and dptr respectively so source location is incremented by one destination location is also incremented by one so now r not is incremented means 30 becomes 31 now dptr 2000 becomes 2001 now dj nz r1 back so d stands for decrement so decrement r1 so r1 is loaded with block size so r1 is loaded with block size 5 so 5 becomes 4 now if it is not equal to 0 okay jn means not 0 n means not 0 then j stands for jump jump to label back okay jump to label back so i'll repeat once again decrement r1 if not equal to 0 nz means not 0 j stands for jump to label back dj nz means decrement if not equal to 0 jump to the label specified by here so if this back is label here is present in the line number 6 so it will go back so now 5 becomes 4 if it is not equal next uh, 31 content will be transferred to 2001 again decrement by 1 increment r not and r1 so next uh, 32 content will be transferred to 2002 like that it will transfer all the five data after the uh, five transferring five data r1 becomes 0 so only if it is not equal to 0 it will go back to this one else it will stop so it is going to end here so you can use here a uh, short jump to uh, end only okay you can uh, or simply you can use this one only okay or you can use additional instruction okay exit sjmp exit okay so now let me execute open the kill tool so once you open the kill tool now i'm adding a new file or uh, you can add a new file and you can copy and paste this code now i already have uh, the file so i am going to add it to existing file you have to create new item to the source group type dot asm file you type here data transfer or some name you give then close it then you have to type this program so now i already have this file so i am loading existing file add existing file that file is mm, file name is let me check here it is present in desktop file one old this file name is block external memory internal add existing files Let me check. I am not getting this. Okay, I'll create new file only otherwise. Let me check the folder properly. 
it is present in 2024 e1 okay otherwise i'll copy the code and i'll create new file okay i will i will tell you how to create new file so right click the source group add new item to the source group since we are doing assembly language program you have to select dot s okay it is going to add the file name with the extension add new item to the source group dot s file here you type the file name so i am transferring from internal memory to external memory okay internal to external memory so i am going to save this file as like this so now i will see, i will paste the program okay it is your program is here now so now i am going to compile the program you have to check for any error is there or not Okay, to press on build a target. Okay, so mm -hmm. here in the build output, you can see there is a error in this. So, label should be given with semicolon here. Okay, so all the labels semicolon should be there. Short jump to exit that means so in the same line, it will be there. So now zero errors and zero warnings. So now start debug. So I have to give five datas in the source location that is 30H. So there are four memory windows are available. I'll show how to open the memory windows. So go to view. Uh, memory windows 1, 2, 3, 4 are there. So you can use two memory windows memory 1, memory 2 open and in the memory 1 you type uh, uh, internal segment you have to use d data segment colon 0x 30h 0x 30 you type press enter so this is internal memory and uh, in the memory one more memory you type external memory no so you have to type capital x semicolon uh, 0x2000 x colon 0x This is your internal memory. External memory is X capital X colon zero X two thousand. So it will come like this zero X zero zero two thousand. So now I have to enter before transfer I have to enter five random data here. So I click there and click modify data so i will give uh one one h h means hexadecimal okay 22 h 33 h 44 h if you write if you miss the hexadecimal it will convert decimal into hexadecimal and equivalent hexadecimal will be stored here i am directly entering hexadecimal if you write a decimal here automatically it will be converted into hexadecimal and hexadecimal values will be stored so now you can see five data's one one two two three three four four five five 
this data should be transferred to the external memory. So let me start with the uh, debug now. The pointer is pointing to this point. So now st step over. Okay, F9, F11, or F10 you can use. I'm using this. So R1 is loaded with five. You can see the registers here. It is highlighted. R1 is loaded with five data. R0 is loaded with the source address 30H. DPTR. The DPTR register is loaded with 2000 hexadecimal. Okay. Uh, move a comma to R0. The content of R0 is 11. So 11 is actually copied to A. See, this is A is highlighted. A means another name for A is accumulator. It is transferred to A. Now pointer is pointing to this from accumulator. From accumulator, it should it is transferred to the address specified by DPTR. So DPTR is actually pointing having 2000H. So it will transfer to this location. So now the data should come to this external memory now. Uh, now this is still not executed. It is pointing to this. So now it is executed. You can see the 11 data is came, coming here. So now we have to first data is transferred from 30H to 2000. Now 31 content is 22 should be transferred to 2001. So increment R0 by 1, DPTR by 1. R0 is incremented by 1, DPTR is also incremented by 1. Decrement R1, R1 is loaded with 5 data. No? Now 5 becomes 4. It is not equal to 0. You can select the Z flag. R0 flag. is not equal to zero means then go back to jump back jump to the label back so it came here so again it will transfer the new data or not content to accumulator now it is loaded with 22 22 to will move to the 2000 location 2001 location similarly increment r not r1 increment r1 once again if it is not equal to zero jump back Okay, so let us see what happens at the last after this last data. See, three data, four data are transferred here. Last data I am transferring now. Okay, increment R not increment R one. So for all the five data are actually transferred. Actually, now program should not go back to the back label. So let us check if it is not equal to zero. What happens? Decrement R one now. So once R1 is equal to 0, okay. Now R0 is actually the 0. So now it will not go to the jump. It will not jump to the label back. Only if it is not 0, it will go to this. Now it is coming to the short jump exit. So it is infinitely it will be staying here only. So short jump to label exit, short jump to label exit. So even if you execute, it will be stay here only. So now you can see the answer, how to verify the answer. This is before execution, 03, uh, 30H is the content. And this was initially all are zero. After the execution, same content, whatever we entered before execution to this location, same content will be moved to this. So still after moving also, source location will have the same content. Only it will copy this content to the destination location so this is how to verify to transfer the data from internal location 30h to the external memory 2000 so you can try and change the address to any other location like 3000 h or 4000 h or 5000 any address you can transfer okay thank you